What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul. And Aquarius, this is your week ahead, beginning October 21st and ending October 22nd. 7th, not 2nd, okay? 2019. The messages will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. All right, my fellow water bearers, I hope all is well. This is a new week, new energies. I'm using the uh, Bohemian Gothic Tarot uh, <clears throat> to deliver your messages this week or the next for the next two weeks. It's a dark deck, but uh, created by Karen Mahoney. Images are very, very, um, very, very, you know, well put together. Um, you have to own this deck and have it in your hands. The colors are rich and dark. And I'm using it because we're moving into the Halloween season. Also, I'm going to be um, throwing in a Halloween Oracle message for you. I'll be reading that passage. Just select the one card to support your reading. Okay, so let's see what the energies are for my fellow water bearers coming up for this week. Sun, moon, and rising sign Aquarians, October 21st through the 27th, 2019. Okay, Aquarius, your energy, your shadow card energy, Aquarius, relates to that of Major Arcana Strength card. Okay, so we're starting off pretty good. Feeling all empowered, courageous, no fear. Uh, feeling, could be feeling, for, you know, for some of you, some passion. Things getting intense for you. Um, this is the card of sexual energy. This is an open general reading, so you can apply those messages to your situation. But it's all about going forward um, and doing whatever it is that you need to do without the fear. Okay, you have the strength and you have courage on your side. Major Arcana as the Shadow card energy is definitely energy that's going to play out. The uh, Strength card is Leo, and then other fire sign energies, Aries and Sagittarius, male or female. So we have the Strength card in the upright, and our focus, however, is on. There are some reversals. I forgot to mention that. And then we have the Ace of Cups that's in the reverse position. Keep in mind when the Ace of Cups shows up, or any Ace that shows up in the reverse, it's still a good card. Okay. Now the Cups in general, and just let me show you what it looks like in the upright position. Is all about the start of something new. This for some could be the completion of uh, some events that have already taken uh, place in your recent past that you got back together with a relationship. That could be the reason why the Ace of Cups is showing up here. Whatever it is that you're looking forward to or whatever the Ace of Cups brings forward, it's still forthcoming. OK, but this is just a temporarily delay and it may be on an emotional level, which could be that new job. It could be the birth of a child. Cups represent children for me. It could be um, some other type of renewal of energy. And it's just a temporary delay because it's still positive, even if it's in the uh, reverse position. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female, represents that um, Ace of Cups that's showing up here as your <clears throat> focused energy for the week of October 21st through the 27th. Something is still forthcoming, but there is a delay and it may be uh, based on some sort of emotional uh, aspects or energies. Okay, so remember the strength card is going to play out as well. So whatever it is that you're waiting for or trying to renew, that you have the courage and the strength to uh, achieve, whatever it is. All right, following that Ace of Cups is now the Ace of Wands, see, there we go, Ace of Wands. This is a card of inspiration, starting something new, initiation and in whatever uh, endeavors that you are, you know, pursuing this upcoming week. This could be, you know, things related to creative arts. Um, Ace of Wands is news and surprises, so keep that in mind. Something fast approaching you and it's uh, coupled with or could be coupled with a surprise. News is on its way, something that is... Um, definitely welcomed again ace of wands represents um fire energies aries leo or sagittarius male or female the whole aspect of the ace of wands is to start something or be inspired to start something new initiate something um and like i said it could be within the creative arts or whatever it is that you're inspired to do following the ace of wands is uh, well there we go there's our savior right there the lover's card so there's that whole aspect of the Ace of Cups. 
The lover's card is a major arcana. It represents your energy, but specifically Gemini and then also Libra. So this is about partnerships. Now, this is an open general reading Aquarius, so it could be business partnerships. Being on the same page, seeing eye to eye with one another in all aspects, this could represent family. This could represent your significant lover. Friendships, okay? Peace and harmony. Romantic chemistry. All those things apply with the lover's uh, showing up here for us in this uh, spread so far. So this is good. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is good. I thought I selected too many cards. Up at <laughs> after the major arcana, the lover's card. So we have two major arcanas, the strength card, which is powerful, and the lover's card. King of Wands, again, this is a card of sexual expression, things heating up. There's a focus on something. Um it mirrors the Ace of Wands, so the focus may be on starting something or initiating something new. Uh, and then also, too, it's a court card, so it could be, um, even though the uh, Ace of Cups is here as your focus, the lover's here, it follows the lover's card. A connection with someone new could possibly be a fire sign, an older fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. All things are possible. This is a card of passion, sexual expression, sexual energies, things being... Um, Intense heating up for you, whatever it is. I do feel that those things heating up or being intense is in a good way. Following that is the Major Arcana, the Death card. Okay, so the Death card is not a card that signifies physical death. No, it's a card that comes in that says we're holding on to something that we need to release and let go. It could be a, you know, a simple thought process, okay? Uh, something's not working out for us. It is underneath the Ace of Cups, so it could, you know, definitely connect to someone who needs to let go of a relationship that's causing some sort of emotional uh, imbalance for you. Remember, the cups, when they're overturned or in a uh, reverse position, that's whatever the cups are filled with. And I would think that uh, for in some cases it would be tears then you know let the tears flow because there's something that we need to release and let go okay something has to go in order for something new to come our way death card is about tra transformation it's a major arcana uh, and sometimes the transformation occurs because um, we may not want it to occur but it's necessary okay but it's for our highest good keep that in mind Scorpio represents that death card as well as the other um, what are signs cancer and Pisces and mind you it is underneath the ace of cups which is also water so maybe somebody needs to release some energy connected to a water sign following that um, death card now we have the happiness card so it's all not gloom and doom here four wands is the happiness card and I just mentioned in another video that I don't talk about this card being the happiness card but it is it's you know Possibly uh, moving to a different uh, location, relocating, purchasing a home, uh, cohabitating, moving in with someone. It could be your lover, could be a roommate, could be just a close friend, family member, whatever. But it's all about being in a structural building, inside of a structural building, sharing that energy or that environment with someone else that's close to you. That's the happiness card. OK, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female represents that four of wands in the upright. Someone could be purchasing a home, moving to a different apartment, condo, you name it. It's all there. Uh, now we have the major arcana, the hermit. So you are getting some major um, one, two, three, four. You have four major arcanas in an eight card spread. So the energy for you is going to be, uh, for some of you, very, very intense. And some of it is not only intent, but it's going to be positive. OK, let's keep that straight, because this is a neutral card for me when it shows up. There is some aspect or energy that we have to disconnect temporarily. This is a card of meditation. OK, it's a card of meditation. We have to evaluate something. We have to go do some soul searching or go within to figure out something that may crop up for us this upcoming week. But we're going to come out with a clear brighter perspective that's how neutral this hermit card is the hermit card represents virgo and other earth and its energies uh capricorn and taurus and it could be just simply you know a meditation you know that some of us just go into meditation you know however the meditation works for you the uh hermit card is underneath the lover's card so it's definitely some of us disconnecting our energies is because it's based on uh the other people that are in our lives okay 
Last card that I have for you is, well, you have another one, the fifth one, the, <laughs> the Empress. This is growth and expansion. This is a pregnancy card, so there could be news for those females out there who receive pregnancy news. The answer is yes. If you are doing in-home pregnancy testing or going, going to the hospital, someone could be uh, delivering, um, giving a birth of a child. This is a relationship card, beauty and, um, yeah, beauty. The Empress represents beauty, peace, harmony, involving all relationships, growth and expansion in some type of area. You have to apply that energy to your um, situation. And then the Empress mirrors the death card. So if there's something old that's not working for you, whether it's a relationship or not, then, you know, this is the growth and beauty of allowing your energies to release something that's no longer resonating for you for your highest good Aquarius. Let it go. And then something new is going to, uh, it's a guarantee by the death card that something new is going to transform for you. And then uh, to validate that at the very end, your last card is the Empress card, something growing and something expanding, whatever that energy is for you. Okay, so we have the Empress, the Lovers, even the Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, and our Strength card is the Shadow card energy. So this is actually turning out to be a pretty damn good week for some of us, uh, but we will have to wait and see. Throw the comments in. I would appreciate it. Let me know how the energies are opening up for you. And remember, this Ace of uh, Cups is just the focus of things still forthcoming, but there's just going to be an emotional delay or there's a delay in some type of aspect. So it could be a birth of a child. It could be uh, a relationship or connecting with someone new romantically, uh, but it's it's coming. The lovers is here. OK, the Empress is here. Uh, death card uh, almost guarantees that there's something new that's about to enter into our life. And like I said before, whether um we want to release it or not. Sometimes that death card comes in here to be a reminder that the universe will shake something up for you to uh, allow you to, well, not allow you, but <laughs> removing something from your life that is not working for you because the ultimate goal for everybody is to be happy. Okay. That's the ultimate goal. And we may not see it as that, as we're going through these painful trans transitions and transformations. Um, but then after it's all, said and done and the dust settles, then it, you, f you figure out and you find out that it is for your highest good. Okay, so the card that was selected for you, Aquarius, to complement your... Look at that. This is the skeleton and it's also the strength card. Okay, so let me see what the skeleton says here. Uh, I'm just going to read because these are long passages and I'm just going to read um, a few things for you. If I can find it, skeleton, yep, 52. All right, so the skeleton says here, Halloween. Okay, so first it says, on the outside is flesh, on the inside is bone. There is strength and vulnerability and power we have grown. Halloween is a scary festival. It is meant to frighten. We are meant to feel the release of being pleasantly scared. We trick or treat, even though we know that someone may surprise us. We watch horror films knowing they will scare us. We even dress as skeletons who have no flesh at all and their bones are there for all to see. In short, we show our vulnerability in, at, you know, at Halloween and our strength in facing our fears too. There is incredible strength in showing uh, vulnerability. It can often be the bravest course of action and the most frightening. More often than not, it is a powerful catalyst of personal growth, even though we may not be able to uh, perceive that at that time. And that's just what I said about the death card. You know, we you know, things get shaken up for us, whether we want it to or not. But it's for our own uh, personal growth and, um, you know, our lessons in life by showing our true selves and displaying some balance uh, vulnerability. We can seek and receive greater understanding from others by admitting that we are wrong or that we don't have the solution when we are expected to, we leave more room to turn things around faster. By asking for help and support rather than acting as martyrs and feeling resentful, shows strength and wisdom, not weakness. Should the skeleton card bring itself to your attention, dare to show strength and vulnerability if that is uh, what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not be carried through the darkest of nights. That's a beautiful message for my 
fellow water bearers. Wow. And it's so in line with the death card showing up here and what I had spoken about. Okay, so beautiful energies for you coming up this uh, upcoming week. Uh, please be safe in all that you do. Always emphasizing that safety, Aquarius, and sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.